We'll get to that first. We'll yeah, read the first post because there's a hoodwink in it. Well. I'm asking why plus five to buy wars and glimmer cake. My plus five. Scotty, Maelstrom, Desolator. Maelstrom and Desolator, yuck. Both of them anti synergy and Daedalus. And same story for Alk with his ultimate, right? He's right. got more effective HP. Here we go. Evasion. OG to it's replace more, one win at ESL one Birmingham due to visa issues. Right Let's now, read their tweet. Like Despite extending the visa deadline to 12 CST yesterday for all teams, one win were unable to field an eligible roster in time for ESL one Birmingham due to visa issues. The next Eastern EU team in the qualifier slot are also unable to attend for similar reasons. The next eligible team to be invited will be OG, which came in second at the Western EU qualifiers and have already confirmed their ability to enter the UK. I think he's dead anyway. Oh boy. OG magic boys. Oh, they made it. They made it. They came home. God damn. I mean, in general, this is a very good for OG fans, and maybe it will boost the viewership of the tournament, but sucks a lot for one win. Who's in one win? One win. Wikipedia. And the reason I'm saying this is not because, like, one win... Uh, it's Monkushi, Chira Jr., Cloud, Sweden, Strong, Respect. So these players are, like, they're ki they're not, like, huge winning players. 22k winnings. 34k, so this guy, this would be huge for him to make it to Birmingham. 15k, massive deal for them to make it to Birmingham. But, no visa, no fun. But, there is a second side to the story, guys, which I saw a little bit low, uh, a little bit higher, here. One wins official position on ESL's decision to withdraw the team from ESL1 Birmingham. Oh boy, this is where it comes in, guys. This is where the OG anti-magic comes in. Counterspell, OG counterspell. Alright, let's read through this. How long is this? Ah, it's readable. On the morning of 9th of April, ESL uh, released an official statement withdrawing one win from Dota 2 team uh, blah blah blah. In this statement, the tournament operator claims that the squad was late in processing their visas. One win, the company that had taken upon itself to create these young players. Take care of these young players want to shine a light on the situation. Here are a few points. First of all, qualification for Birmingham took place from January 26th to 28th. We start preparing for apply to visa the very next day after the qualification were completed. On February 15th, after collecting documents, receiving the invitation from ESL in final form and fulfilling other conditions, player and staff arrived in Moscow and applied for the consulate. It took them more than two weeks to start applying. No. I know they said they started preparing at one, uh, January 29th, but like the facts are, it took them two weeks to apply. Uh, third, ESL designated a dead deadline for submission of visa data until April 5, inclusive. The deadline for decision of the British visa is six weeks. On March 28th, the decision was to be announced. Fourth, on March 27th, the British consulate consulated ESL for further information of one win's participation in the upcoming tournament. According to the assurances of the consul and the representative of the TO, the connection broke down during the conversation. And that was the end of the dialogue at that point. Only a week later, the British side was able to receive final confirmation. Whoa, 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 what? What, what is that? They were on a phone call with the British consulate, confirming <laughs> the, converse, the connection broke down, and then they didn't... And, and then another week? Oh, damn, that's, that fucking sucks. So they were on the call. So I'm just gonna simplify it. They were on the call with the embassy. Oops, disconnected, right? It disconnected? And then the visa is fucked? Holy shit. Fifth, on April 5th, ESL extended the deadline. Okay, they extended the deadline with three days, at least. One received one winner received confirmation from Tim Hur Attili's Kumbarebetov's visa in the evening on the fifth, twenty one zero zero Moscow time, and immediately notified ESL. On April eighth morning, our visa agent act ESL to de delay the deadline until the evening or the next morning, as the visas are ready but not yet printed. It is important to keep in mind that ESL's final deadline fell off on a weekend during which no official consulate is open. We're grateful to ESL for the extra time, but please keep this fact in mind. The allotted deadline was not enough because one winner ESL, bu bureaucratic rules. Yeah, that, that shit's always sucky, of course. Uh, Moscow time, we inform ESL there's a response and ask for time until the evening to provide confirmation. ESL provide, asked to provide confirmation. We asked a couple more hours. We were ready to provide a completed coach visa, visa given that we were applying as a group. The rest of the visas were on their way ready. 1519, we're notified an exclusion. 1700, we received the visas. Damn, one hour, 40 minutes. 
Now all players and staff have their visas in hand. Unfortunately, according to ESL, we didn't meet the deadline. The players put a lot of effort into qualification. The organization provided them with full support, and the media team preferred to fly the tournament. Preferred to fly to the tournament together with the guys to create content. However, will we miss it because of a mere trifle measured in four hours? Keep cheering for us in the upcoming tournament. We will surely qualify and participate directly. Damn. Okay, so they are actually handling it pretty well. They're not like mega bashing ESL. Okay. Attention to point point four. Lost a week due to ESL. That one is what caught my eye too. That is not very good actually. If they lost a week due to a connection broken, I feel like they should have gone a week extra. No, instead of three days. I don't know. Feels bad for one win, but I guess if OG are going to get a lot of heat for qualifying with this, then blame will just probably go to ESL bureaucracy. I mean, the bureaucracy is annoying. It is annoying. But also, you know, deadlines are also deadlines. It's really unlucky that it's four hours, right? But it does suck, you know? Or two hours, or whatever there was. And OG wasn't even the first to get called upon. Entity VP were first. But yeah, Entity VP can't get visas in like one hour, right? So, possible for them. What else we got? Anyone blames OG as a moron? <laughs> they asked VP entity first. They asked them because they were in, next in the ESL in the Eastern Europe qualifiers. Entity got third in Western Europe qualifier, and OG got second. So he even tried to replace them with the CIS team twice. That's fair. Seb single-handedly stormed the consulate and delayed everything with his personality. It's Seb's fault. He brought over some wine and cheese and had a party. That smug bastard. Fuck! I believe. I'm starting to believe. I can envision it. I can believe it. Why did your last post get taken down? I mean, as an OG fan, I'm not complaining. You don't put a deadline on a week on a holiday. That's Bureaucracy 101. Uh, ESL extended deadline 4 hours. Uh, MC doesn't work on Sunday. They had 9am to 1pm to get their visas printed. They don't have to extend any deadlines. Yeah, they were just nice extending the deadlines in general. What does suck is the one week connection thing, if that's true. Um... The third part is irrelevant. What is important is we started applying next day, aka January 29th, but arrived in Moscow and applied only on 15th. Yeah, this, that's a lot of days in between. 18 days? I said two weeks. It's even more. What's the ESL story? I don't think we're going to get the ESL story with this. I doubt it. Visa's ready, but not yet printed. Fuck, man. They couldn't find a printer. It's like me in school. I had, had to go to the library because I don't have a printer at home. Sag. Means no issue with the private visa, but it's not... Hard copy. I've seen the same for passwords. Uh -huh. Alright. I guess that's about it. But, ooh, uh, that's things though. A few hours only. Ouch. Yowza.